drop. Might be drinking. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD, they don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We're gonna call around eight from the landlord. rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jeez, smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He had... There's a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Well, no more when the car and it gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a brick? 
Break in. Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android threw the chair. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. Android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Check
I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Holy shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Todd? Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake, you're making me nervous. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now!
respect your father. You'll soon see who's boss here. Daddy! Good house. That's enough! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Watch out, Kara! Come here, bitch. far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement. This whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out.
Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes oh, it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Too scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. You are, because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. Carl, no. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours.
damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your biocomponents. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt Scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us.
Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before, he used to beat me and I never said anything. It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, get to move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. exhausted and it's pouring rain. Can we just stay for a little while? This bus is going back to the depot. There's nothing I can do.
be okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood.
Hey, 